Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a very nice 1954 Chevrolet 210 Del Rey to show you. Now, this car has obviously been upgraded uh, to make it a very nice driving car as well as a very nice show car, showing car. Uh, it's very nice, the paint's beautiful. I want to take you around, show you some of its traits. I think you'll like it. Um, Let's start with the paint. Now, this color is actually a house of colors, and it's called Blue Blood, which I don't know why it's called Blue Blood, because it's actually very, very red, almost like a torch red, really. But you can see this has got some serious depth to it. Very nice and glossy everywhere. Got this nice, subtle blue pinstripe on it. Looks excellent. All the trim and bright work is on the car. Looks great. No dings or dents there. Uh, the wheels and tires, now these are 15 inch Krager 5 spokes with of course a little knockoff and uh, got these nice radials all around. And it does have power front disc brakes and it's been lowered a little bit so I think it's got, uh, it's got a uh, heights front suspension which has the tubular A arms and whatnot and the drop spindle so gives it a nice look, gives it an excellent ride. Uh, certainly better than it did back in 1954, but uh, all the glass is nice. The windows have this nice smoke tint to it. Windshield's excellent. Windshield wipers, those are rain gear windshield wipers, so they are electric. Um, originally this would have had vacuum style wipers, so those are long gone. Of course all the uh, Weather stripping and so forth was replaced when the car was painted. Paint's been on the car probably 15 years, but it looks great. Let me take you in the interior. Got this nice camel colored interior with the tuck and roll style on the seating and matching in the door panels. Nice uh, camel colored carpeting. Nicely black painted dash and all the chrome and, and bright work in the interior is excellent as well. Headliner's excellent. You see a little dome light work in there. Try to get you so you can see the back seat area. You got seat belts for four in the car. I'm telling you, this is a nice driving car. The engine um, is a 350 crate, and they were 290 horsepower, uh, you know, but with your aluminum manifold, headers, uh, coated headers, and electronic ignition, you're a little over 300 horse, which makes it nice for cruising, driving, and whatnot. Transmission is a 700R4, which is GM's automatic overdrive. Differential is a 10 bolt, completely rebuilt. 373 gear ratio with pause attraction. So you got an excellent engine and drivetrain set up here. Again, you know, chrome is excellent. Your, your light bezels and whatnot, these are tinted as you can see. Pencil tip style exhaust tips. We'll take you inside the trunk here. Nicely upholstered, you know, it's not overdone or anything. You got a, a spare here. I do have a, uh, I should tell you, I have a bra for the car or a, for the front when you're driving it, if you're ever going to take it on the road. Uh, I don't know if I can show you this or not under here. I always like to kind of show the nice solid trunk floor. No rust in the car as well. And uh, the undercarriage trunk opens and closes nicely. Let me take a moment or two to tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got pictures of the car, of course, but pictures of the undercarriage as well. Now, keep in mind, it's not super detailed or anything under there, but it is very clean, very nice, uh, solid, no rust, floor pans, rockers, and so forth. Frame, all very nice and clean. This is a nice car. Really fun to drive easy to drive. Nice deep dish chrome here.
take you in the interior on this side so you've got a chrome tilt steering column with this banjo style uh, steering wheel with the nice leather grip <laughs> horns work you got these nice classic instruments kind of a vintage style uh, gauges this is a tachometer here and of course your speedometer and the other gauges fuel temp uh, oil pressure volt gauge aftermarket stereo uh, the heater works everything works all the lights work emergency brake works very clean very clean doors shut nicely shut lines look good all your lines and everything Boy, that, that bright work is nice on this car. Man. <clears throat> Up front here, uh, again, you know, chrome is nice. I think the bumper's moved in slightly. Makes it give it a little cleaner look. This grill, the chrome grill is excellent. All your lighting is nice here. You can see it. The, the uh, lenses are bright. Take in the compartment, show you that Crate 350, very clean here. Electric fan, which by the way comes on thermostatically, so you don't have to worry about, you know, is the fan going to come on because it comes on by itself. It's your power steering there. Coated headers, had to be, looks like custom built to, to fit in there properly. Again, uh, electric windshield wipers. Everything's painted nice. HEI uh, distributor, so electronic ignition. Got an Edelbrock 600 carburetor with an electric choke, so fires right up when it's cold. Let it run a few minutes, you know, or a few minutes, a few seconds, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Kick it down into a nice idle and uh, you're ready to go. So what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the Del Rey, start it, you'll hear it run. You're probably going to see some steam because it's cold here. You know, obviously I'm wearing a coat, so it's cold. Uh, I'll just drive it around the parking lot a little bit so you kind of get a sense of what it looks like moving under its own power. You can hear it, but great car, fun to drive, easy to drive. Take it anywhere. Yeah. Transmission shifts nicely. Uh, I should point that out as well. Of course, again, you got a tilt column here, uh, all nice and chrome. All your bezels and whatnot are excellent. Uh, no discolorings anywhere. The dash is nice. All the trim and bright work, excellent. You got visors up here. Uh, yeah, it's just about everything you need. You got a center console with drink holders. Got to have that nowadays. And a little uh, compartment there. But uh, if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1954 Chevy Del Rey, don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 
6763 and thank you for watching today.